KDE Plasma has gained what is probably the most invasive form of tracking to be added to a free open source project, which allows for intelligence to be gained on how users are utilizing traditionally offline applications. The duration and number of times a select number of applications are opened is being recorded by the desktop. But first, let's consider how this can be a benefit. Usage statistics show which are the most popular applications and allows the limited number of developers to be better deployed. And I'm under no doubt that developer resources for most open source projects are very constrained. Bug reports are of limited use. And anyway, based on my own experience, the majority of feedback comes from other sources. But now to consider the wider aspects of telemetry, not necessarily what we have here in KDE. Telemetry allows for better marketing to the point that products are free because you are paying for them with your personal data. Everything you look at and click on can be monetized. The more of your activity a company can see, the more they get to know about you, which means their data about you is more valuable. Currently, we have hundreds of companies looking at everything you do on the internet through your web browser or internet connected apps. But none of these companies has a full view of what I'm looking at. Although the likes of Google and Facebook have a very good view, it's not 100%. However, when a rogue browser extension, or even the browser itself, is monitoring your activity, then it can see everything you do online. But now if we step back a level to the OS, well the detail that can be gained covers everything you do online and offline, and that, my dear viewers, is truly frightening. So back in 2017, there was talk about K-User Feedback from Volker Kraus, who did a talk at KDE Academy. The User Feedback framework allows you to engage your users directly in the application and encourages them to contribute by providing statistical data or participate in surveys without compromising their privacy and while keeping full control over their data. And fast forward on to February 2020 with the release of KDE Plasma version 5.18, we have a new feature called K-User Feedback, which has now reached version 1. So K-User Feedback is a framework for collecting user feedback for applications via telemetry and surveys. The library comes with an accompanying control and result UI tool. All the source code is available, and I see that's made by V. Kraus, so Volker Kraus, the guy who talked about this project initially three years ago. It appears he's been the prominent developer on this, although there are 17 contributors in total and that includes the source code to the web server. And I'll come on to that in a moment. And now to look at the options on KUser Feedback, which you can find on the system settings, under personalization, and then user feedback. You can help KDE improve Plasma by contributing information on how you use it, so we can focus on things that matter to you. Contributing this information is optional and entirely anonymous. We never collect your personal data, files you use, websites you visit, or information that could identify you. And we can take a look at the privacy policy. I do want to highlight that this tool is disabled by default. And in total, there are five settings you can choose from. So you can choose to send basic system information, system information and usage statistics, detailed system information and basic usage statistics, and finally, detailed system information and usage statistics. I do have to say I have no problems with how this is currently implemented. We have full control and it is disabled by default. Although, what if we scratch a little bit deeper into this? I've also been playing around with this in KDE Neon in a virtual box. Actually, what I have here is my host operating system is KDE Neon and the virtual box is also KDE Neon. I've been trying to capture the contents of this telemetry session, which I've enabled in this virtual machine, but thus far I've not been able to do it, and I think I understand why, in that it's uh, not sending on a particular regular basis. The time by default was monthly. I've reduced it to daily, but yeah, it's still not happened. But one weird thing, if you go looking in your home folder under .config, kde.org, and kde, you can find these files associated with user feedback. We have the last encouragement time, the date time is written very weirdly there, but uh, from what I understand, that's a Q string, and it's how it's saving the data out of memory, so that would translate to a time. I'm guessing that would be a UTC. Anyway, that's not exactly the entire problem. What you'll notice is these application start counts and application times are recording. 
and the recording whether you have k-user feedback enabled or not. Yeah, very weird that. Yeah, literally just recording the application start counts there, which has increased since I opened this program in Kate. Yeah, again, we can see it there, application start count has increased. So recording these statistics, whether you've enabled the feature or not. Attempting to remove any of the feature results in significant breakage. So for removing K-Info Center would remove the desktop meta package. Yeah, don't do that. And trying to remove other components, just, yeah, that's not happening at all. From what I understand, if you want to get rid of K-User Feedback, you would have to compile KDE from source and switch the compilation flags. Looking at the telemetry use page, we can see what components have been recorded, as well as mention of a couple more applications that will be recording. Kate and PIM will be starting with release 2004. We're well, currently in KDE Neon have KDE apps 19.12, so yeah, I guess this is uh, something I can look forward to. And I will admit the information they're gathering is fairly harmless, and they're not going to be able to see it's me doing it. It's just statistics, overall statistics, not this user is doing this thing with Kate, this user is looking at this file, they won't know that, it's just statistics of usage. As well as various hardware parameters and software versions. And looking at privacy policy, they're saying, as a general rule, software produced by KDE does not collect, transmit, or otherwise transfer information from end users' devices, except as a result of an explicit user action. Examples of this would include visiting web pages, sending emails, downloading new content, such as desktop wallpapers. But looking at telemetry, so some components produced by KDE may include telemetry components, which provides details on the device it's running onto us. Where this functionality exists, it will always operate on an opt-in basis and will be disabled by default. Very nice. With the ability to change your preferences at any time. And I will say they have been transparent about all this, and yet yeah, that is what they are going for. Anonymity, we do not transmit data that could be used to identify a specific user. And data is stripped of unnecessary detail and downsampled appropriately before sharing to avoid fingerprinting. Great. Network operation such as IP address inevitably exposes parts of data transmission, but it's not stored together with telemetry data. You do have to send your IP address in order for a two-way communication to take place over the internet, but an IP address can be personal information, but as long as they're not recording it, then there's no problem. And yet they have committed to saying here that they're not collecting personal data, and where they do believe data could be personally identifiable, they're now going to delete it from their database. In the source code I found, you can actually look at all the PHP pages from their website. Yeah, normally you wouldn't get to see this detail because this would be executed by the web server and you would only receive the resultant HTML code. No, we can actually see what the back end is doing, specifically what the analytics portion of it is doing. And all this exists on the telemetry.kde.org web server. We can see that opening the analytics index page results in the rest dispatcher and analytics.php being called. Rest dispatcher is more about the back end API. The analytics page calls more PHP pages, as well as checking that the backend software is okay. And I suppose specifically the point I wanted to look at was you can actually see how the data is being ingested from the PHP into a SQL database. So if I'm understanding this correctly, you can actually run your own analytics server. So what can I say in conclusion? In principle, this is all very nice and acceptable. But why now? Why is this feature being added? Why do we have to have any sort of telemetry, given that KDE has been around for well over 20 years? This feature hasn't been necessary until now. Linux Mint don't have this feature, although Ubuntu themselves do. But is this a case of it's acceptable because Microsoft and Google are doing it? And yeah, Microsoft and Google have been tracking user activity in Windows 10 and Android respectively. But what has that level of tracking gained for us in Windows? Well. Is barely any better than when it started. Oh yeah, sure, Notepad can now read Unix files, but they didn't need tracking to find that out. Android, on the other hand, uses the data for marketing. And you can see that if you have an Android phone and you start saying certain keywords and it just responds to you in services that Google offer. So yeah, it's all a monetization thing. Get you to buy something as a result of what you're doing on the device. I'm not accusing KDE of doing anything like that. 
but unfortunately this does start us off on a slippery path downwards towards monetization. Well, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.